So, surveys came out from GDC, uh, Game Game Developers Conference, for those that aren't sure what that is. Um, 5% say that they're making games for the Wii U. And it seems like it seems like the internet kind of blew up. And I think that's shocked. higher than I that's higher than I expected actually. Me too. And 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 here's why. Like, why is everybody shocked that they're not making games for the Wii U? Number one, yeah, nobody's been making games for Wii U for ages, other than yeah, Nintendo. Yeah, that's that's number one. Number two, the system's on its way out. Yeah. So. Yeah. For people this year to turn and go, oh yeah, we're making games for the Wii U. What? The only ones I think that probably said they were were probably like indie de- indie developers. Mm-hmm. You know, the ones that are yeah. that are you know. Yeah, because there's no f- big third party out there making a Wii U game. Other than Lego, other than the Lego games, which, yeah. but other than that, just nobody. So I don't understand why people were like so shocked by that. Like IGN like posted that all over the place, and then a lot of game companies were doing it. You know, a lot of uh, news outlets were doing that, and it was just like, what's the big deal? Like, so what? The stat that's more worrying is the fact that they said 1% of the developers admitted to making an NX game. But yeah. that could that could be so low because people are so hush-hush about NX at the moment. Yeah. Like, people don't want to talk about it, don't want to yeah. get in trouble. You know, but... But that could be true. I mean, maybe Nintendo have only shown it to a few big companies. Well, here's maybe, the deal. You know, let's let's say let's throw a hypothetical out there. Right now, we got we got Brian from Image and Form on. Okay, I say to Brian, "Are you making a, Are you making a game for the NX?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, we are." What do you think happens after that? That would news would go mental, and everyone would not be hounding e- them. Not even that. What would happen is is I would then say, is it a hybrid? Is it like the Wii U? What well, he would start he, a you, yeah, yeah, but you know he wouldn't answer any of that. I know he like, wouldn't answer it, but then it begins a barrage of questions that not yeah. only I hit him with, and then when I'm done with, then yeah. all of a sudden here comes all these other people that are going to start calling his office and Bob and Leaks I think that's start what, to happen, yeah. Yeah. I think that's why nobody's admitting that they're doing anything for the for the but, uh, for NX. The, the thing with the survey is it was an it was like an anonymous because obviously I don't think they released the companies that they spoke to it was just a case of the, yeah. the survey developers, which is why that number of one percent scares me. Um, I'm of the once bitten twice shy, and Nintendo have bitten me. This, this that analogy got away from me, but you know it's always a case of they announce a new system. It looks like it's going to get good support. It doesn't get good support. It turns out it seems to be because Nintendo didn't pull their weight to get the deals. We've learned our lesson. New console comes out, and the same pattern repeats. And it happened with Wii U, and I'm worried it's happening again with NX. They are keeping their cards so close to their chest, they're trying to cr- push this thing out the door in a very quick turnaround from announcement. You know, if they've had this in the works so long, and they know it's coming out now. Why is it only 1% of developers are saying in an anonymous survey we are working on that system? Let me ask you a question. If if what they're making is a hybrid, mm-hmm. does Nintendo really need third-party support? Yes. Why? Perception. It, it, but that's that don't matter. I, I don't yeah. think it's perception. I think it's variety of games, right? Because the Wii U has got all the Nintendo games that we all want, but it doesn't have games like Horizon, The Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto. It doesn't have any of those. Call of Duty, not not even that anymore. It's not even getting FIFA now. So it's like those games that people love to play aren't on the Nintendo console. So people think, is it enough to get, you know, are Nintendo games enough to buy another console for, like when they want to play other games as well? But what I'm saying is... No, but what I'm saying is this. Okay, so Nintendo comes out the gate, and they're yeah. a lone wolf, essentially. But unlike the Wii U, because they're not developing for two separate consoles, they're developing for one. If you're in the Nintendo ecosystem, you're getting a game a month, essentially. Yeah. It's just the 3DS or the Wii U. Um, sometimes you get more than that. So what I'm curious is is if they come out it if they come out 
with the NX, and they're very heavily relying on first party, get it up, get it running. If they sell consoles, people will come. And that's I think that's where their main focus is right now. Their main focus is we need a crazy launch. We need to come out with some amazing content at launch. And they have some third parties. They've already Square Enix has already made grumblings about it, which hey, look at say what you want. Square Enix is is starting to come into their own as a as a, as a big player. Um what if Tomb Raider comes to NX? You know what I mean? Like that would give them their naughty dog type stuff, like with their with their Uncharted and stuff. And the the report came out last week or whatever that that Tomb Raider sold a lot more than people thought on Xbox One. Like everybody thought, like, oh, it, it's going to die because it's only on the Xbox One. Apparently, it sold a lot of games. So eight hundred thousand units, something like that, and that's not bad for just going with a console exclusive. You know, depending upon whatever Microsoft gave them to make that game, it, it's only a matter of time. So I think that if it was to go to Nintendo, um, if Final Fantasy Remake comes to Nintendo, they're already talking Dragon Quest XI, that coming to Nintendo, like that's huge in Japan. You get that game on your console in Japan, and I think, because at the end of the day, Nintendo is the top dog in Japan. Looking at it from a UK perspective, and Toby, you can kick me if you think I'm wrong. Not literally, because you kick like a girl, probably. <laughs> um, when I say perception, the way I'm, I'm probably not kind of rounding it off enough. When you look at the Wii U, and I think from like a, because we are the kind of the nerdiest of the nerds, you know, we we follow this stuff so much, you know. Toby makes customs. You do your YouTube channel. I talk crap about tech all the time. Joe Average, who's like, I want to buy a new console. Oh, that Nintendo thing seems cool. Like Toby says, the Wii U doesn't have FIFA anymore. It doesn't have Call of Duty. It doesn't have Assassin's Creed Beyond Black Flag. Um, They're going to want games that they go, oh, cool, I can play games on the go. They're probably not going to be the type that are going to play everything Nintendo make. Maybe the Mario Galaxies, maybe the odd Zelda. Maybe Mario Kart. I think we can agree that they would play those, but they need that that appetite. You know, they've got an appetite for something Nintendo can't fill. Yeah. And it's it's having Activision. It's having EA. I mean, if you came out with the, right here's the Nintendo hybrid, mm. you get all these cool Nintendo games. Okay, that's going to have impact with you, me, yeah. and the kind of the folks in the space. Yeah. Probably not with the mainstream here. You come out and say, hey, you've got all our games, and you can now play Battlefront on the go, Call of Duty, and we're not talking. Cut down. This is the console quality on the go. Call of Duty, Battlefront with all the DLC, all the new Assassin's Creed games. That gets you the perception of this is a healthy system that can give me everything I want on the go in HD and I can play it at home as well. Yeah, 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 that's totally right. Well, what I'm okay, what I'm saying is, is I think they need, I'm on the camp, I'm on, I'm on in the camp of they need third party help. I just don't know that they need it day one. If they have EA and Ubisoft and all these guys go, we're making games for the for the NX. I think that just them saying that and they'll do what they did, they'll port some stuff early on and all that, and that's fine. The, the that's key not is, fine. It, they, it can't, is, they can't, they can't they bring it. Listen, can't do that again. they no. didn't ditch. Listen to me. They didn't ditch. They ditched because... The console wasn't selling. Yeah, but they didn't put effort in at the, yeah, in the first place. I, but that has nothing to do with it. Yes, that it does. Nothing. You're telling me that people didn't buy the Wii U because it was a, they, it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. They they thought our games aren't going to sell in the system. They made they ported games that were over a year, year and a half, two years old in some cases, to the system, knowing they wouldn't sell. Then they had the right of saying. But what I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. That's why those games didn't sell. That's not why the console didn't sell. That had nothing to do with the console. Why the console didn't sell was because they all disappeared. Why did they disappear? They didn't want to make games for that system because the, the, the architecture was very inferior to what they were getting ready to go to with the PS4 
and and it was even difficult to port games over from the PS3 and the 360. They and that they said from the very beginning, we don't want to make games for this console. It's underpowered. It's not. It's not this powerhouse that people are. are like yeah, to they definitely Nintendo definitely definitely need a console that is on par or better than a PS4. So what right. I'm saying to you is, is if they come out day one, if Nintendo comes out day one and they go, we have Metroid, we have Smash, we have the Zelda game coming, we have we're bringing Splatoon over. All these different games are coming over day one. I think their mindset is, let's get the hardcore in. Yes, they have. All right, developers. You get the maybe. you get the hardcore Nintendo fan in, but you okay. won't get the hardcore Sony fan in, or the hardcore well, not, Xbox fan. But, but you're gonna. What I'm saying is hardcore players. You're gonna get people. There's people that wanted to buy the Wii U. They had a they had a small list of games that Nintendo talked to people. There's there's people that will sit there and say today, like if Nintendo would have brought Metroid to the Wii U, I would have bought a Wii U. Smash came very late. Smash sold six million copies in a ten million install base. That's a huge attachment. Yeah, that is huge. Yeah. So when you look at that and you go, okay, if day one Nintendo goes, we have Smash, Metro but it's an old, old, old Smash. It's it not new Smash. Listen to me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it matter. Does, what I'm saying. Matter. If you did not buy a Wii U, it doesn't matter. But it matters buying... to me and you because we have it. We're going to buy an NX no matter what. But Does it matter what, what system Nintendo, Nintendo puts out? Wait a minute. Does it matter what system Nintendo puts out? Are you going to buy it or not? Look, it's no, not about us. Question. It's not about yeah. us, though, is exactly. it? Exactly. So what, the, I'm the, the, what I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. Is if someone didn't buy a Wii U, and Nintendo comes out and goes, we have Smash, we have Metroid coming, we have this coming, and this coming. And now they look at it and go, I didn't buy that because I wanted Metroid. I wanted a new Zelda game. Now it's time, and they jump on. There is no new Zelda game. This can't. This the, the thing is, they're gonna go. Oh, this Zelda game. It's basically a Wii U game. It's not that new. Like even though it's not out, it's it's a previous generation game. We, what they're gonna look we at? Also need to look at this as a beyond day one. Okay, let's say argument's sake, they have all that Nintendo content, which is great because it's stuff we all want, but. Year and a half down the line. When's the next Call of Duty coming out? What, November this year? If they don't have a deal inked with Activision that they're going to bring the new Call of Duty to their console, it doesn't look as attractive to Joe Average Gamer who likes to play his seasonal Call of Duty, his Maddens, his um, other sports-type games. Cause I yeah, but nobody's... Call of, Duty's, Call of Duty's a waste of time to even bring it's, up because like, people aren't going to leave their consoles because the the... The eco structure of the gaming, you know what I mean? Yeah, like but, they're going to go to Sony for for Call of Duty because yeah, that's where you're going to get all the stuff first and all that. But this then ties back into that whole thing of they're saying it's going to work with other devices. So what if there's an ability to somehow share your gamer tag and that, play? cross yeah cross platform mode? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. You can guarantee yeah, that what, ain't going to happen. What is me is we're at a stage of a system probably maybe what, a May announcement of the hardware before E3? With a 1% developer... Okay, we don't know what the, the, the sample pool was or what developers were asked, but 1%? If we say it was a 1,000 of 1%, that's not a lot. And then they're planning maybe a launch this year. So, okay, maybe these developers are so hush-hush they can't even announce that they're working on games, because I'm sure there's NDAs that exist like that, but... Is it not concerning that it just seems that we're rerunning that whole loop with Nintendo of... Yeah, it does. It does, yeah, it I, does just, I, I just feel like, okay, Toby, you're saying that they're going to look at the Zelda game and go, oh, but that's last gen or whatever. But if you don't have a Wii U, you're going you're, you're gonna to get it. Yeah, so say no different at the time, time when that... When it's the NX comes out, no different right? than Twilight Princess. So what you're telling me is, Twilight Princess went on both, and you felt like Twilight Princess was an old gen game. Yeah, of course it was. But the thing is, the Wii, the Wii, the Wii was a GameCube just just doled up a bit. Like okay, yeah, Wii, I, Wii I games agree with look that. like GameCube games, but NX, right? So say the NX is three hundred pounds, right? And you can get 
a slightly better Smash game for it. But then the Wii U is £150. People weren't willing to pay £150 for Smash on Wii U, right? Why would they pay £300 for a slightly better Smash? Right now you have no idea what you're talking about because you don't know what the price is going to be. You don't I'm just saying, getting. it's not going to be cheaper than a Wii U. You no don't way. That because what it if it's playing handheld? Than a PS4. By the time it comes out, it could be more expensive than a PS4. And but what if? PS4. Well, what if it's what people are also the rumor? See, the problem is you're go- we're going off a of speculation. We don't know because mm-hmm. of the fact of the rumors are saying that it's a it's a hybrid. It's a handheld the first year and then a console the next year. So if that's the case, the handheld might not be that expensive. It might not be, but all I'm saying is it needs more than just Smash and Metroid and Mario. Like it needs so it needs parts. Assassin's Creed. It needs Call of Duty. It needs it needs the EA. I mean, I'm, okay, I don't like EA immensely as a company, but it needs the Star Wars titles. It needs these big tentpole games that Nintendo don't make. But let me ask you a question: How hard is it if if this system comes and it is as strong? If it's close to a PS4. And an Xbox One. How hard is it to port over? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It needs to be that. So then it only costs a couple of mil to, to port yeah. Call of Duty. But what I'm whatever. saying is is this. Maybe Nintendo's already talked to these companies, or Nintendo who makes games knows and realizes, listen, it's only going to take them maybe six months to port a game over. It's not a big deal that we let them in right now. Do Nintendo foot the bill to help it's possible. Like they should. It's, it's very possible. Spending money. So what this I'm saying to you is, is, so this is what I feel. What I feel is, because it doesn't take maybe six months to move a Madden over, to move a FIFA over, to move Call of Duty over, all those different things, I feel like it's in Nintendo's best interest to go, here's the console, this is what's coming, we're ready to go. This is what it is. We're powerful. We're good to go. I mean, let's be honest. If it only takes six months to port a game over or, or to get it ready to be made, if Nintendo comes out in April, May, and goes, here we go, it's up and going. And then they go to EA and go, look, we want you to port all your your franchises yeah. over. Let's go with it. It doesn't yeah. take long to do. But if it, ta- the, if it a... takes six months, right, say Call of Duty's just come out in November. Say the NX comes out in November mm-hmm. and they start porting it then, right? I don't so think then... they would start porting it then. I think they would start immediately. Yeah, they have to start now so it's ready at launch is what I'm yeah. saying. Like, yeah. But what I'm saying is going off of this survey, that 1% means nothing to me. I don't feel like that 1% is a big a deal as people are making it out to be. Because we don't we, know who uh, the, the sample was. That's me, the Al- Alan and I are just worried that the same thing that happened with Wii U is going to happen with the NX. If either, it, no offense, no offense. If Iwata was still president, then I would be nervous. If now, is, now that Kim Machine is in, in charge, I, I feel I feel like they're in the right direction. If they came out, you guys, I'm telling you, if they came out, because I'm in other groups other than NBC and Nintendo groups. Alan, I know you are too. Yeah. Pay attention to what them people are saying. Go in there today and just go, what games does the Nintendo need to announce for you guys to jump on board to an NX? You're going to have the the 80% that are just troll jerks that are just going to go, nothing, it's garbage, it's all junk. Listen to the 20% that are going to give you true numbers, true games, and go, I want Metroid, I want Galaxy 3, I want Zelda, I want all... If Nintendo comes out and says, we got Smash... We're porting Zelda U over. It'll be here at launch. You got your pick what one you want it on. We got Galaxy 3 coming within the window. Splatoon's coming. All so these different games. Tell me why. I think, I think they can sell tell, the system. Tell me why the oh, Wii U didn't sell then. Because the Wii U has got Smash. It's got Mario Kart. It's, it's got it, Mario it, Maker. It's, it's, it's got the Splatoon. Problem. Because it didn't have it at launch. It did not have the, uh, the wide array of games at launch. It came out with a bunch of recycled games that were on the Wii. It came out with new Super Mario Bros. U. I just played it on the Wii. They came out with Donkey Kong Country Returns, which was basically, or D- Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which was Donkey Kong Returns. It had a bunch of ported games, old ported games mm-hmm. from third parties, which didn't work. It had all right, all right. Nintendo Land, which was good. So I think I'm starting to get what you're saying. So you're saying that if they have a brand new 3D Mario, AAA 3D Mario game, 
they had Smash and Splatoon, mm-hmm. and what what else did they need? Would they need? The Zelda I think they need well? Metroid. Metroid and Zelda. Right. So if they had Mario, Zelda, and Metroid brand new games at launch, then that that would be a significantly bigger and better launch than the Wii U. Absolutely. It would knock it out the park. That would definitely cause... And I'm just saying a launch window. It doesn't have to be day one. They could do, like, every month or or every other month, bring out one of these big top-tier games, whatever. I think what they need to do is they need to sell a lot of consoles. If they can sell a lot of consoles, then you'll bring the third parties in. No questions asked. But when you sell, like, what what they sell for Christmas that first year at launch of the Wii or the Wii U? (coughs) The thing is, I would say that works if Nintendo were coming off the crest of a successful system. They're coming off one of their biggest disasters since, I think if we're looking at the numbers, what, the Virtual Boy? Mm Mm-hmm. You know, when you compare it for what they were aiming for, you know, this is their Dreamcast. It could, I'd say, actually, you know what... Has it has it surpassed out. GameCube yet? No. GameCube... GameCube oh, passed out of a million, wasn't it? Million. Exactly. Oh, my God. This is like, we use, like, 11 million, something like that. Something like that. Um, Damn. The, the thing is, they, it's not day one, because, yeah, we're expecting the Nintendo games day one, but they need to be able to come out the gate and say, we're going to have... The, and, and I know I'm using them as the same examples, but I think these are the ones that resonate a lot. We need to be able they need to, be able to say, yeah, we're gonna have your Call of Duty, we're gonna have your Battlefront, we're gonna have the Star Wars games, we're gonna have Assassin's Creed. Yeah, to us maybe not the biggest games, but to the guy who's got three hundred quid who's going, I fancy spending my money, do I buy X or do I buy Y? Nintendo need to have a reason for them to go, I'm gonna buy it X because hey, I get everything I want in the go. Um, the other the other problem that's you have what to, it is. The, the other thing you have to look at why the Wii U didn't sell good was a lot of people were very upset with the Wii. They mm-hmm. did not like the direction of the Wii U. They hated the Wii. They thought it was for casual gamers and they all migrated. So when the Wii U was announced, a lot of the people that left the Wii were like, I'm not going back. It's the same thing. It's the same garbage that I just left. I don't want to go back. It's just H D. So that was the other problem with it, you know. So that's huge undertaking. The other problem was, was that just before they launched, Microsoft and Sony both announced their consoles were coming, and people were like, "Why am I going to spend three hundred dollars on this when I can get the next gen for maybe a hundred dollars more, maybe two hundred dollars more?" So I think a lot of people looked at it and went, and essentially, a lot of people were playing PS threes and Xbox three sixties at the time for. 200 bucks, and they're like, why am I paying 350 for something that's less memory and not as powerful? You know? And it was I slow, think, man. The yeah, Wii U was so there was, slow. There, there is a lot of factors to why the Wii U didn't sell. Yeah. If Nintendo comes out, let's let's exclude the games now, because the games aren't going to be the only thing that sells it. they got to have voice chat. They have to have a better ecosystem within. You know, they got to... If they offered cross-buy... So that way, I mean, they may essentially. I think they're going to eliminate the cross buy because if they have the hybrid, you're not going to need a cross buy. But I think that there's there's a lot of things that were determining factors of why the Wii U didn't move. And it to say that it was essentially no third party support. That's not true. I, that's because, a big part of it, but it's not it's the a part, part of it. It's not the it's, yeah. not the it's not the resounding factor. A lot of those people left. And the fact that you had EA putting out old games that... I mean, you're putting out Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U. When the trilogy was coming out. And the trilogy's coming out on the other consoles. Of course that game's not going to sell, you know? But I think that... And and what bothered me was for EA to say, like, oh, our our games don't sell. Well, when you put out Madden on the Wii, and it was some garbage that used Wiimu, it was totally different than all the other Maddens. Of course it didn't sell. You know what I mean? So that's the factor of where they got to look at it and go, okay, but why didn't it sell? Because it didn't sell because it was an inferior game. Why was it an inferior game? Because the architecture wasn't there to put a game on the same level as a PS3 and the 360. Yep. So that can, this is that's where I feel mean. like if the NX comes out the gates and it's a heavy hitter, it's a different ball game. That's why things didn't move. Yubi was, you know, Yubi was very 
vocal in saying that they didn't want to do it with the Wii U because it wasn't powerful enough. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of issues with it. So I think that's where we have to look at it and go, why didn't it move? There's there's a lot of resounding factors of why it didn't go. And then when it didn't go, then it just got worse. Like, then people just kind of were, like, mocking it. And people may not want to hear this. Nintendo fans are another reason why it didn't move. Because people just wanted to see them fanboys die, you know, and not die literally. Just, like, they wanted to shut them up. Because when the Wii was moving 120 million consoles, they were pounding their chest, screaming from the rooftops that we're the best, we're the best, we don't need HD, we don't need this. Everything Nintendo's been feeding us for years, we don't need HD, we don't need voice chat, we don't need that stuff to be number one. We're the best. And I think a lot of people were like, no, you need that stuff. And we're going to show you because we're not going to buy it. You know? I think that it's true still. They need it. They need a strong... Oh, yeah. I think, I think though now, and it's going to happen, they need to just do pull a Microsoft and a Sony and just show off the hardware. Because all, all the speculation does now is hurt them. Because whatever they're making is pretty much now set in stone. Yeah. And if all these leaks keep happening. It, it sets an artificial level of hype. With and Nintendo fanboys are always yeah. on. I'm a fanboy. We're always on point with setting our expectations so high. Mm-hmm. Never going to live up to it. It's always no. going to fall short. Nintendo need to get ahead of the curve on that. 